The next element, Livermorium, has an atomic number of 116. It is sort of on an island of stability, but and then 114 is also on an island of stability. We'll be getting to that one soon. Also 107, but after that, it's not, not really that many more. And what we will be doing today is we will talk about more of Livermorium. And I'm also going to do a brief thing about Islands of Stability. So it might be a bit longer than the first two because this is the heaviest element that is on an island of stability. Livermorium, ha again, has an atomic number 116 and it symbols LV, named after Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in Livermore, California. It is a super heavy element with a half-life of 1.1 seconds. Every year on May 30th, there's an, a citywide Livermorium Day. Sorry, I almost said National Livermorium Day, which would be cool. Or even statewide Livermorium Day, that would be cool. But hey, it's not up to me. It's up to the city and the state and the government. But okay. Now, where was I? Uh, Livermorium. It is very dangerous and is only produced in labs. And now we're going to go on to the Island of Stability, uh, which is uh, where it's more stable than you think it should be. Like uh, Borium and Fluorovium, which we'll get to soon. But Livermorium has a half-life of 1.1 seconds. So... It's sort of stable. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would not want to mess around with something with a half-life of 1.1 seconds. What do I mean? Hey. It's like only like five blinks of an eye. So, I wouldn't want to mess around with it. But it's way more stable than uh, Moscovium, Tennessee, and Agonesson. And I'm thinking about how. How was Livermorium created? Well, the main answer is Californium and Argon. Yes, they used Argon. I mean, that's what I'm thinking would be the best way to create more Livermorium. Of course, we're going to need to get some Argon, but... And... Hmm... And create Californium, but hey, it's not up to me. Also about Livermorium, important about Livermorium and an island of stability is they are very few and far between, except for the one Livermorium is by. There's two pairs of ones where they're near, uranium and plutonium, and fluorovium and Livermorium. The rest are few and far between. One sec, we've got an airplane. Sorry. And it's important to recognize that Livermorium it's super dense it may be the densest known element comparable to meitnerium and osmium and iridium but we have we don't know for sure just we know lead is one of the densest elements I mean polonium well yeah but polonium is also really dense the element above it and uh, just it's in group it's in group 16, sorry, uh, and in row 7, or period 7, depending on how you want to look at it. It can also be called col column 17. So sorry, I did not get good sleep last night, but I promised daily videos, and I'm doing daily videos. So, <laughs> Livermorium is really heavy. Like, I mean... It would be hard, let's say you have um, one gallon of liquid livermorium. Now let's say, pretend it can't kill you, pretend it's not radioactive, pretend it's safe. It would be really hard to hold up. I am not going to say I have tried this before because I haven't. And I'm not going to be able to show a sample of Livermorium because I'm, I want to still be alive. 
and I don't have any. And it's, it's useless, but it's an element discovered in 2002.